July 7th, a month ago, I was supering the yards, and as I was working the colonies, the hives could spare an extra frame of brood. I would pull it out and set it in one of the one of the bee brief nukes, sometimes two frames out of a colony, drop in a cell and set them out. So I have quite a good reserve now in different bee yards of our bee brief nukes. Any colonies that aren't performing well will have a nuke, uh, a bee brief nuke dropped into it. So we'll just examine how the bees are doing and uh, show it to you. So <coughs> here's a colony. The bees are flying well. They're bringing in pollen. It's got the lid tipped up, so the, the rain chute is uh, rain guards on top of the weather shield. So the lid was tipped back and uh, set a little bit back. The bees have sealed it up with propolis, so we'll I can lift it up at the back. Now the, the fielders fly in at the top here, so there's going to be a little bit of fly up when I open it. You can see the bees have built a little bit of burr comb, but it scrapes off very easily. And this is, this is how the newt looks. So I can give that a bit of smoke. If I'm concerned about the, the burr comb, it's just very easy. You can give it a quick scrape down. So I'm shifting the frames aside, taking out the plastic queen cell cup. Here's the queen cell cup. She hatched out fine. And here you can see the, the queen mated well. She's, uh, she's got a good frames of cat brood in here. So over the next week or two, this colony will just, just explode. What I should have is a spare bee brief to set this in. For now, I'm just going to lean this against the front. Here's the second frame of brood. So this queen's going great guns. Be running out of room. This was the feed frame. Bees are starting to, to fill it out. Good food reserve. And this is the fourth frame. And this frame here, they're just starting to cap it, but it's all this is all eggs and young larvae. Same on this side, they can clean this out and then big. And right here, move into the light, you can see better. But there's Her Majesty. Walking on the comb. So it's a good, well-mated queen and a, a great resource for, for moving things forward. I'll just pick the queen off, set her in the hive, put everything back together. So to work with this unit on the next stage, I just want to snap the lid on, take it to a bee yard, set in colonies. So I just give the burr comb a quick scrape. The plastic is nice to scrape. The lid just snaps on. That's it. Goes on the back of the truck. When I get to the next yard, I got a reserve of young queens uh, ready to go into the outfit.
showing you how to, to make up the feed for the pouches. If, an, if the feed brief requires uh, feeding, these, these work quite well. So here's the, the bags of syrup. So I'll just turn this towards you so you can see it a little better with the camera. So this lid is tilted up so there's a gap underneath it. Oh, there's the queen. She's come up for a visit. Let's drop her. You can see her in my hand there. Set her down in the foam. So all we do is take the pouch sugar syrup, Ziploc bag, smoke down the bees, and we just set this here on the top, and it can be there, and if you wanted to put on two or three, you can do that, as long as the bees can have good access, it would look like that if you were doing more than one, and on the, the edge of the bag, on the side, a small hole with a pin. So this is just a safety pin works quite well. You can keep one up to your uh, to your uh, overalls. But all I do is I make a single puncture on the side and stick the pin in and pull the pin out. You can work with it a little bit. You want to get some air out just a little bit of syrup starts running down and they'll nurse off that little hole. So I set the lid back on and the reason for putting the puncture on the side is if you put it on the top then the lid would block off the hole. And then the weather guard snaps on on two pins that's it. So if you had put more bags on, the lid would actually ride up on those bags. But this here bag, if it's just for a little bit of stimulation, feeding the single bag is, is fine. And I put some on three days ago on a couple other hives, so we can go look and see how they're doing with them. So I'm going to show you a couple hives where I put these feeder bags on uh, three days ago. So I'll, I'll turn this towards the camera. This pops off. Make sure the queen's not on it. So on this hive here, they've taken out the syrup. They've even started to chew up the bag a little bit. See, they've been chewing away here. So. They were obviously hungry because they didn't have any extra feed to, to put here, but they've drawn some nice new, nice new wax. So again, this bee brief's doing quite well. <laughs> Normally I wouldn't even take the time to check it. Just peel the lid up. The other lids shoe horns on. <laughs> 